And we thank you, Lord, for Bishop Alex, Bishop Mono. We thank you, my Father, for these great men of God that you have used in this conference. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for their families, Lord. We thank you, my Father, for all the people that you used to put this conference together. Take all the praise. Take all the worship. Our God and our King. Thank you for transforming lives. Thank you for impacting lives through this conference. And no one will go back the same way they came in. No one will go back the same way they came in. Let your word transform our lives. Let your word set our hearts on fire. The Lord, as we leave this conference, we are living as oracles, men and women of wisdom, men and women of knowledge. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that the entrance of your word gives light and gives understanding to the simple. Have your way, King of Kings. Have your way, Lord of Lords. We honor you and we bless you. Lord, as you continue the message about understanding the pathway to the supernatural, the supernatural power of God in the life of the believer. Lord, I pray that every, every believer present here will live a supernatural life, will live a supernatural life. They will manifest your power. They will manifest your Shekinah glory. That after this conference, there will be glory everywhere. There will be power everywhere. And people will know that we have been with Jesus. We have been with Jesus. You are not dead, King of Kings. You are not dead, Lord of Lords. Speak to us. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Luke chapter 4 is a foundation scripture. You can stand to the reading of the word. If you are seated, you'll be taking your seat. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Luke 4, 14. We'll look at the life of Jesus, how he moved in the supernatural. He returned in the power. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there weren't out fame of him through all the region and round about. Samba shot power. You can take your seats. Thank you, worship team. Celebrate the worship team, please. We give God the praise. We are looking at understanding the pathways, the supernatural part of God in the life of a believer. Just a recap. We, we said the power of God is an associate in every life. We said the power of God is a major answer to the questions of life for those that you are present. And we said the power of God is a way, the, is a key to the solution of the challenges of life. The challenge in life. We said to walk in power is not a luxury, it's a necessity. And we looked at the pathways of the supernatural power of God. I said, number one, it's the way of prayer. Samba shot the way of prayer. Every man of God, woman of God, should have a place of prayer. Every believer should have a place of prayer. Amen. If I forgot, I gave you the, I gave you the scriptures. I believe Acts ten thirty eight, and I gave you Psalm sixty two eleven. Those are the foundation scriptures that we're running with. I'll be so short. I apologize for coming in. Let a bishop. I thought it was 10 30. I apologize. I'll be done in the next few minutes. Look at your neighbor. Say, You need the power of God like never before. Now, if your neighbor goes not smiling at you, look for somebody who is smiling. Somebody's wearing a smile and tell them you need the power of God in your life. Hallelujah. We share the way of prayer is the way of power. The way of prayerlessness 
is the way of powerlessness. To be low in prayer is to be low in power. To be high in prayer is to be high in power. Somebody say Maka. Somebody say Hallelujah. To be low in prayer is to be low in power. To be high in prayer is to be high in power. People of prayer are candidates of power. Elijah was a man of prayer. He said, at my word, there will be no rain. You are speaking from the place of prayer. And he made a decree. And what he said came to pass. You are speaking from the place of prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, our master himself told us that man should always pray. And never give up. Our master taught his disciples how to pray. He didn't just teach them how to pray. He himself used to pray. In the early hours of the morning, he could leave the house to go and pray. He could pray the whole night. And from the mountain of prayer, we could see the Son of God demonstrating the power of God. Ladies and gentlemen, the men of prayer are men of power. People of prayer are people of power. And we see the power of God manifesting in the life of Jesus. He walked on the face of the earth, performing miracles, opening blind eyes, raising the dead, casting out devils. And the Bible tells me, one time the disciples tried to cast out a devil. And they failed to cast out the demon. And they were so troubled in privacy. They went to Jesus and asked him, Why could you cast out that devil? Jesus looked at them and said, This kind can only go out by prayer and fasting. Look at your neighbor and neighbor. That's the reason why you need the place of prayer. Because from there, you deal with spirits. You deal with powers. Before you go out and preach. Before you go out and do business. Spend time with God. Because out there. There are powers. That will challenge your faith. That will challenge your career. That will challenge your life. And there's need for you. To have a place of prayer. While you energize yourself. For the day. To face every obstacle. Or anything that will stand in your way. The reason why. Many people give in easily. is because they don't have a place of prayer. Jesus never gave up. When he saw Golgotha. When he saw the grave. He even prayed them all. He said Lord. If it is possible. Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless. Not my will. But yours be done. In other words, you are saying from this place of prayer, it's not about me, it's about you. It's not about my will, it's about your will. If I have to go through this path, let me go through it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Son of God prevailed to fulfill his assignment. The mountain, the, the, the cross of the story, the tomb was there, the grave was there. But he prayed through to fulfill his destiny. The disciples were sleeping on him. And he said, why can't you pray with me? Just for one hour. But they were sleeping on him. I want to let you know that sometimes people may be telling you I'm praying for you. When they are sleeping on you. So I encourage you to take time to pray for yourself. Even as others are praying for you. Your man of God can be praying for you. Your brothers are praying for you. But take time to pray for yourself. Because you are the one to fulfill that assignment. He was assignment also to destroy the sickness. 
diseases on Calvary, but it was not easy. He prayed through to fulfill his assignment. I came to tell somebody, regardless of what you're going through, you must pray through for your assignment. You may have challenges in your business, but pray through. You fulfill your assignment. He prayed, he traveled, and he had an encounter. The Bible tells me, when I was praying, he went into agonizing, was troubled, distressed. And the angel appeared in Luke 24, Luke 22, verse 41 into 43. The Bible tells me, and the angel appeared and strengthened him. All you need is strength to proceed. Ladies and gentlemen, the angel came and strengthened Jesus, when you go on your knees, distressed, discouraged, when you begin to agonize, when you begin to pray, help will come from heaven. Oh, Shakatere Bagasaya, the angel strengthened the Son of God. Is Jesus with his strength to carry the cross. Jesus with his strength to allow the Roman nails to go through his hands, to go through his feet. He receives strength to allow the soldiers to pierce his side. Blood and water came out. He received strength to allow the Roman soldiers to put a crown of thorns on his head. To and ladies and gentlemen, you are strengthened. And he said, it is finished. After that, they pulled him down, put him in the tomb, put soldiers to guard the dead body. Because from the place of prayer, he told them, you can destroy this temple, but the third day is coming. On the third day, I'll build the temple. Because you're speaking from the place of prayer, they remembered his word and said, this fellow, the Bible Cause the Bible tells me they called him this fellow. He said, You come back to life, deploy soldiers in the graveyard, deploy soldiers to guard the dead body. I make a decree today. As you make those decrees, something will begin to happen in the minds of people, in the hearts of people. Ladies and gentlemen, when you are speaking, uh, the thought is a joker, but they remember this word. May people remember your word as you confess every morning. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. It's not time to be quiet. It's time to prophesy. It's time to declare what you want to see in your life. What you want to see in your family. What you want to see in the nation of Zambia. I won't be quiet. I won't be silent. I'll confess from the place of prayer that my third day is coming. You may kill me. You may sacrifice me. You may do what to do. My third day is coming. When the third day came, the angel of the Lord appeared. The soldiers fell under the power. No one could stop Jesus. Men of prayer are not stoppable. Men of prayer cannot be stopped. A man who prays cannot be stopped. A man who prays and declares cannot be stopped. The sword will stop him. The sword will hinder him. The sword will stand in his way. When the third day came, the word prevailed. The word prevailed. The word prevailed. All things will pass away. But the word of the Lord stands forever. I don't care what people are saying about your life, about Presbyterian Center, about your ministry, about your life. One thing I know, what he said in his word shall come to pass. Whether you believe me or not, I'll believe on your behalf. Whether I'm a fire or I'm a fire. 
because he's watching over his word to perform it. My son, go and save them. My son, go and heal them. My son, go and deliver them. And Jesus walked on that word. And he told them, you can destroy me, but I'll bounce back. 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 I was dead, but now I'm alive. I was dead, but now I am alive. The grave could not hold him back. No power will hold you back. No witch will hold you back. No curse will hold you back. No power from the pit of hell will stand in your way. Somebody shout yes. Look at your neighbor, your neighbor. Even if you don't believe me, I choose to believe what he says in his word. He cannot fail me. Tell your neighbor he cannot fail me. He will never fail me. All things will pass away, but his word stands forever. Stands forever. Stands forever. And because his word stands man of God, I will stand. Because the word of God stand, I will stand. I have been told not to stand. Stand therefore. I will stand. Shana da baba basia. Ike tosa babaya. Ike tena ganda kasirera. Ike tosa ikerera. I don't is opposing you. I don't know standing in your way. Share what you came in. in. Connect yourself. Plug in. Believe what he says. They may call you names. I don't care. But my third day is coming. From the place of prayer. I saw. I saw. My resurrection. From the place of prayer. I saw that was ground. There will be a king of kings and the Lord of lords. You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I prophesy the one is in you will never allow anybody to stop you. The one in you is the Messiah. He's the anointed one and he's anointing. He cannot allow anyone to stop you. I came to encourage you to receive every word that has come from the men of God. Digest the word. Take it in your system. The way to prevail. The way to prevail. The way to prevail. The way to prevail. May the word enter your blood, enter your bones, enter every part of your body and make you whole. That's the reason why he said he sent his word and the word healed them and the word delivered them. I repeat, the word to penetrate and touch your heart and break that of stone it doesn't matter how stubborn your brother is how stubborn your cousin is when you take a hold of the word and pray the word stubbornness breaks my other like a cigarette fiara to the carero fiara to the carero the power of, of the grave was broken. The power of death was broken. He conquered the power of the grave. Some of you, your prayer life has gone down. The enemies attacked your prayer life. But I came with the mantle to stir up that which God has put in the inside of you. The very my neighbor, say my neighbor. Pray again. Pray again. Pray again. Pray again. Herod killed James because no one prayed for James. 
that is just me. I leave it to theologians. I just believe that James was killed because no one prayed for him. But when they arrested Peter with the prophetic word on his head that I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Herod said, this one I'll kill. But the church prayed. But the church prayed. No one prayed for James, but somebody prayed for Peter. And because they prevailed for Peter, the Bible tells me, and prayer was made, may God raise men and women who can pray for our pastors. When their pastors are in trouble, may the church pray for their pastors. May they pray for their pastors. He was a pastor of the church. And the church said, we cannot allow a man of God to be killed. They, pray, they made prayer. Upangeko pempero, wasangera ulisiwe. Pempero na man of God wako. Pray for your man of God. Pray for your man of God. Somebody wants to kill the ministry of that man of God. Somebody wants to destroy the ministry of the man of God. God, do not allow them to do that. Pray for your man of God. Pray for your man of God. Shut your neighbor, say neighbor. When was the last time you tried failed for your man of God? Or maybe I've joined those people who are saying, my pastor Basida, my pastor Basida, my church Basida, on my pandas are see, on my pandas are empty. I pray you never be such a person. I pray you be a person who say, I cannot allow the ministry to die. I cannot allow my man of God to die. I cannot allow the ministry to die. The church made prayer. Still, for now, let's see, church. May God raise you. May God raise you. May God raise you. May God raise you. May God raise you to pray for the woman of God. To pray for the man of God. They wanted to kill the man of God with the prophetic word. They said, You are Peter, and I'll build my church, and the catch of hell shall not prevail. But Herod said, I'll prevail. Herod said, I'm coming after you. I will prevail. But the church said, We shall pray. He was carrying a prophetic word, saying, The case of hell shall not prevail. But Herod said, I will prevail. He arrested the man of God, put the man of God in prison. But the church prayed. We are the sons and daughters. Who shall pray for Prince Christian Seda? Where are the sons and daughters who shall pray for the church in Zambia? Who shall prevail and say, I cannot allow this thing to happen? Revival must hit the church again. Men and women must move in power again. Where are the believers? Where are those men? Hold your neighbor's hand. Hold your neighbor's hand. Jeketera Bagasia, hold your neighbor's hand. He katosha Mahasia, he kekenda ragaseto shalabaya. Rande ke soko tala bagasaya. Hold your neighbor's hand. Some of you are looking at me in that chair. Can you just travel with me, please? Can you travel for that man of God? Can you travel for your pastor? We are in the place of prayer. We cannot allow them to win. We cannot allow them to cut the head of the man of God. No, 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 no. Every ministry has a mandate. Every ministry has a mandate. Every church has a people. The Lord told him, I'll build my church. Peter, through you, I'll build my church. But Herod said, I'll come against the prophetic word. I don't know who has come against the prophetic word of the ministry, of the man of God. 
the one thing cast pray that the Lord God Almighty will intervene in that ministry the church made prayer it's not time to play around with destiny it's not time to play around with ministries the fire of God must hit every church the anointing must enter every church power must locate every church a believer must prevail stop the gossip stop the slander prevail God, stop the gossip, stop the slander, prepare for the woman of God. The Bible tells me in the book of Acts 12 how the angel slapped him. Wake up, my other the man of God was sleeping. The angel said, Wake up. Oh, by the voice of the angel, the chains fell off. The chains fell off. The chains fell off. And the man of God was rescued. Today, we make a decree a release of our men of God. Their ministry will flourish. No one will kill their ministry. No one will kill them. No one will destroy them. Herod, you cannot destroy my man of God. I stand in the gap. I pray that my man of God is released. I want to gossip him. I'll pray for him. I want to gossip my man of God. I'll make prayer until the angel of the man of God appears and save my man of God. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. The pathway to the supernatural power of God is praying. No one could lay his hand on the man of God because prayer was made. Because prayer was made. What killed James could not kill Peter because prayer was made. It's time to make prayer for your man of God. Please, I beg you, make prayer. Herod does no respect. Herod goes in for the anointed ones. He goes after them. Put the man of God in chains. That's the spirit of Herod. Put the man of God in chains. With the prophetic word, the gates of hell shall not prevail. But he said, I'll come against you. Herod does not respect for the prophetic mantle or anointing on the man of God. He said, I'll arrest you. I'll kill you. The same way I dealt with James, I'll deal with you. The church prayed. Pray for your man of God. Stop the gossip. Stop the slander. Pray for your man of God. Stop whatever you are doing. Pray for your man of God. Pray for them like never before. Under two minutes, you are saying, Apostle, I want to carry that mandate. I cannot give what I don't have. I want you to step out quickly.